Okay. Uh, Lori, hi. To go back to Turkey, the sure. foreign minister yesterday said in response to your comment that there may not be an agreement on man midge, but there is an understanding. Mm. Is there an understanding of so? Uh, we're going to start splitting hairs here, right? <laughs> Between <laughs> agreement, understanding, all of that. I, you know, I can just tell you that our talks with the Turkish government are ongoing. Um, those talks have not been concluded at this point, and we look forward to continuing our conversations with the government. Okay. Yeah. They also seem to threaten an attack on Manbij as well. What is mm. your response to that? I, U.S. forces are located in Manbij. Um, we have made it very clear with the Turkish government that we continue to operate there. We have made our concerns very clear with the Turkish government that we have a right to defend ourselves, the U.S., along with its uh, coalition partners on the ground there. And we have encouraged Turkey to de-escalate overall, and that's why we continue to have conversations with that government. And you have no intention to leave? We have no intention to leave, but beyond that, I'd have to ask you to talk to DOD. Okay. And the Iraqi Kurds are very happy now that the airports have been open. But there's one important issue outstanding, and that's visa regulations. Mm. Up until now, people with American and EU passports could travel to the Kurdistan region airports without, um, without visas if you had a U.S. or EU passport. That now may change. Do you have mm. a reaction to that? And are you concerned that a country like Iran, which has influence with the Iraqi Interior Ministry, might be exercising uh, control over this? I, I can tell you, I've just heard that report. It's still hypothetical, so I, I just don't want to comment on something that's a hypothetical like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, 